you know, I pulled out, I was thinking about that service I spoke a few weeks back, you know, and I got the, the stuff on the vehicle about the church and everything else. Well, I pulled out in the road the other day. Y'all going to love this. If I had this, this lady was ready to crucify me. Uh, I pulled out of the business, and this is a five lane out here, right? And uh, so, you know, you pull out in the middle lane. Well, most people, just like on the interstate, when you come on the interstate, if people can get over, usually they merge over into the far right lane, right? That's what you're supposed to do. Y'all know that, right? You're supposed to let them in. Or, or they can speed up or slow down and adjust, whatever the case may be. But most times, you see a car marching on, you merge over if you can merge over, right? Oh, no. This lady wasn't merging over. So I'm going down the middle lane all the way down Flint Drive here, and she just ain't letting me over. I mean, I got this turn signal on, and you know, and then you get rebellious in yourself. You start getting this. Maybe y'all are not like this. This is me. You know, this is the pastor, one of the pastors of the church here. So Pastor Holly will see this, and I'll get rebuked later. But right now, I'm telling you. So this lady, I've got my turn signal on. I'm going down the road, going down the road, going down the road. And she won't let me over. There's nobody from another lane. I'm like, oh my gosh, won't this lady let me in? Please let me in. You know. So finally, I kind of give her the right foot of fellowship. I kind of just kind of move over and move over. And then I got her attention because she's looking at me now. I'm going, <laughs> you know, and I'm like. <laughs> so, so finally she gets over and she speeds up and I finally I get in the far right lane, put on my turn signal and get back over in front of her, turn on my signal and I got past her. It, it was funny the way that, that people are on the road though. It is funny the, the things that, that sparks our rage or you know it gets people ups, upset and excited. But we should be praying. We should be I should have slowed down and just come to a complete stop and let her go on by. But I don't know what it is about people, and Timothy has the same problem. You know, when somebody's driving in the left lane, and, and the right lane's open. Slower traffic, keep right. Is that right? That's right. Why are we talking about this in church? I should be down the DMV, shouldn't I? I'm going to run for the DMV president. That's what I'm going to I'm going to make the line shorter. You know, amen, praise the Lord. You ain't going to have to wait. But no, we should, be, we should be willing as Christians, I don't know why I should be, to be patient with people. Because people are going to irritate you. People are going to get on your nerves. People are going to do things that you don't like. And you've got to be spiritual enough. You've got to be prayed up enough. You've got to spend time in the Word enough. You've got to be hanging around people that are encouraging you, motivating you, that you can be prepared for these things. We've got to have on the full armor of God all the time. The full armor of God. The heaven of salvation. The breastplate of righteousness. The sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Are we using it? Are we dressed as soldier? The Word of God says that we should endure hardness as good soldiers. Good soldiers. You ever seen a soldier that's sloppy, dragging his sword, got his shoes untied, boots not polished? Y'all ever seen it in the Marine Corps, how they treat people like that? You ain't going to make it. They will, they will rattle your jacket. I'm telling you what. That's, that's serious business. And it should be like that for God. But so many times when we serve God, we don't give Him that much. We give Him half. You read in Hebrews, it talks about how if you were going to give a party for the, one of the governors, would you give them a, you know, let's say the governor was coming to our church. How do we treat him? You know, we leave the doors locked when he showed up in his, you know, his escort or whatever, you know, would the doors be locked? Would there be people here to greet him? Would there be people here to take care of him? We do that for those people in our society, but yet we don't do anything for God. We give God half. We don't give Him half. We, 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 we struggle and curse Him for making us give 10% just of our money. Speaking of money, y'all done took the tithes up. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody can not even forget to give that. Praise the Lord. I'm about to forget about that. Praise the Lord. Y'all were so quick that automated usher and threw me off. 